Table properties. We can use the properties palette to display various properties of our table. If we select the table and we right click on the table and we go to properties, you'll see that we get all the cell information and all the content information. And we also, if the table is broken, we get additional information. So if I come over here and I pick on the table and I break the table, so we have a table that has a table break in it now. When I select on it and I go to properties, you'll see that I get a table and I also get a table break section in here. Uh, so this is really handy. Uh, we can then uh, handle our table breaks situation here. We have it enabled. We have the direction of, of it going to the right. I could have the table going to the left if that's um, so you can see that the table goes over to the left in this case. Not too used too often but uh, it, sometimes it goes down. But one of the things that we that we like to use is repeating the top labels. Now when I go over here I don't know which is the type or the mark or the manufacturer. So if I repeat the top labels, you can see that then I get, you know, the door schedule shows up. And uh, if I go back and I right click on it and go to properties and I come down into my, um, so I can repeat uh, the top labels, uh, I can repeat the bottom labels. I can turn that on and that will end up if showing things on the bottom. Uh, we have uh, another nice issue is we can turn off we can turn off the uh, table breaks in this case uh, let me select on the table again here. I can turn off the table break by saying no and I also have another unique situation that works really well for let's say somewhere in here um, and I'm in here and I'm typing away and uh, and I'm typing extra stuff in and it goes and it actually uh, you can see oops you can see how I got extra Y line here um, you can see I'm just typing and I'm just typing and typing and typing when I close the text editor you can see I get an extra wide width here let's say I come back in here and I kind of get rid of it now. I say okay. Now I got back to just Marvin. But you notice how I get the one row that's out of whack. Well, I can make all the rows equal, but it doesn't make it, it, it makes it equal to the widest one. So if we come in here and we pick on our table and we right click on our table and go to properties you can see that the cell height is set here. I can come in here and change it. Say I go to 0.4 and it will change the cell height. Uh, wait a minute. If I select all the, the rows that I'm interested in and then I go to properties and you'll see the cell height varies. Now I type in 0.4 and hit enter now all of them will be the same exact size of 0.4 and that's a really handy situation to manipulate our table. So we have some additional table properties when we select and we right click and we go to properties we can control just about everything with our table with our properties palette.